Hi there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Angela and today I have a book review for you guys. If that sounds interesting, stick around. So before we jump in, huge thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here. And of course, a big thank you to all of you guys who have been hanging out with me for a little while. The channel wouldn't be here without you. So thank you so much. Um, today I'm going to be giving my impressions of the Palmer Pledge Complete Guide to Fitting. And disclosure, I haven't bought this book yet. This one, you can see the library tag here. I am a huge proponent of the library. I love our local library system here. I'm always uh, checking out books, dropping them off I'm to and from the library pretty frequently. And oftentimes when I've had my eye on a book for a little while, and I'm just not sure, maybe it's really expensive or I'm not sure if it's what I think it's going to be. I'll check it out from the library and either read a little bit of it or just even just flip through it. And that'll give me a better idea of whether I wanna buy it or not. And so oftentimes some books I know that I don't really wanna buy, I just wanna read them once. And so the library is so good for that. So PSA, support your local libraries. So that out of the way, I um, spoiler, I am going to buy this book now that I've seen it in real life. And if you guys have also kind of had your eye on this book, I'm hoping that this review could be helpful for you. It might um, steer you one way or the other. Like, oh yeah, I love it. Or eh, it's not what I'm thinking it, it was going to be. So this, I think, is one of kind of the definitive guides to fitting, at least from, um, from my understanding. And it's a pretty, pretty decent book. It's got some, some mass to it. You can kind of see how thick it is there. And number of pages, 253, counting the index. And I've uh, bookmarked, like with the little post-its there, some pages that I want to share with you guys as part of this book review. Uh, but first and foremost, this was written by Patty Palmer and Marta Alto, and they are big names in the garment industry or sewing garment industry and pattern fitting. And I believe that they even have a bunch of patterns. Uh, they've designed patterns for the big four over the years, but this book was <clears throat> copyright 2018. And I think that that is just for this version. The first edition copyright was 98. And then the second edition was 2005. And I have the 2018 one. And just to give you an idea of some of the sections in here, I'm going to show you the table of contents and then I'll read kind of some of the sections there. I don't expect you to be able to read all of this, but just so that you can see that we've got the background, we've got getting started alteration tips, the fit encyclopedia, sewing advice, design, and reference. So I'm going to kind of go to these pages that I have bookmarked just to kind of show you those. I can't show you the whole thing because it's not my book and I don't have the copyright. I didn't write this, but as part of a review, I can show you a fair amount. So in chapter one, they talk about just the general like their approach to fitting. They do use the tissue fitting process and they've broken it down into four steps. Try on the unaltered tissue, alter and try on the pattern. So that's tissue after making adjustments, pin fit the actual fabric after you've cut your fabric out and then enjoy the final garment. So that is their process in a nutshell. That's a really, really brief nutshell, but they go into so much detail. And what I love is that they use actual real life models to display like uh, the, the fitting process and adjustments and problem areas and things like that. So they start out, I'm jumping to chapter four now, but I thought that this was interesting. They they make uh, certain that you start out by buying the right size. So that's, I guess, first and foremost, you need to start out with the right size. 
Um, they talk about how to measure, measuring the high bust. Let's see. And if you guys have questions about specific things, like does the book talk about this or that, drop them in the comments below and I'll be very happy to help out where I can. They talk about um, as we age, how that affects the fit of our garments and how it affects our sewing practices as far as choosing and fitting sizes and things like that, adjustments. This is kind of important um, to me personally as I'm getting older. My body's changing as um, all of us who are lucky enough to age. Our bodies generally change a little bit. Um, they talk about the pattern giving you fit clues and with some with a pattern cover there and some pointers. And I know this is very, very brief, but I just don't want to, you know, infringe on anyone's copyright by showing every single detail. <clears throat> they do spend a fair amount of time talking about analyzing your own body and making a body map and a body graph. And they go into very detailed ways to do that for yourself. So there's a little peek at that. And that this will then become your roadmap. I haven't by far read through this whole book yet. I'm kind of still at the beginning. But from what I have read and kind of flipping around and looking ahead, I love this book. I feel like I do have a, a few books on fitting, but I kind of feel like this is going to be the gold standard. And I'm excited to go ahead and buy my own copy. They talk about tools for marking patterns up and fabric it's pretty comprehensive i would say as far as the fitting process and at the end i'm going to flip once we get through all my little tabbed pages here i want to flip back to the beginning and show you kind of a fun part um, where they talk about the history of sizes ready to wear, the history of patterns. It's kind of neat. It's really fun to read. Um, they also give you the 10 steps to a perfect fit. Uh, I'm just going to read a couple because, again, it's not my material. Uh, so, one, trim and press the tissue. Two, tape neck and armhole if close fitting. Three, pin tissue wrong sides together for fitting. And then they go on with up to 10. Uh, that's just like a little handy list right there for you. What I love is that they really focus on the sequence or the order in which we should do fit adjustments. And I think that that's really helpful because oftentimes if we're kind of stuck on a garment and we know that we need more than one alteration or making one alteration can affect everything else downstream, so to speak. And we make one little tweak and then it throws everything out of whack. So they definitely say that there is a right sequence, a correct sequence for making fit adjustments. So that was pretty helpful. And then they go into um, making a body map, fitting a sheath dress to compare you to the most fitted pattern. So that's pretty helpful. There's also a section in here about um, dress forms and using those, which is, I think, really helpful. I do have another book by them. It's called Pants for Real People. And I thought that was a great book, too. I got a lot of use out of it. So here they talk about the tissue fitting sequence. It's referenced earlier on in the book, but they get really into the nitty gritty of it here in this chapter. <clears throat> and then they have uh, detailed sections on fitting the back, the neck and the chest, darts, bust, I mean, it covers everything, shoulders, sleeves, waist, hips, tummy, and thighs. I feel like this, this is a great resource. 
and they talk about sewing techniques that affect fit uh, such as fabric choice uh, print placement cutting fabric cutting on the grain squaring up the fabric pinning the fabric, pinning the pattern pieces out on the fabric. I know a lot of sewists nowadays use uh, weights and rotary cutter. Talk about interfacing. And then what's this last tab? Oh yeah, so the very um, last tab, that I, the page that I have bookmarked, it looks like it's the last chapter in the book, chapter 24, called The Wrinkle Dictionary. So kind of in a nutshell about ways you can look at a garment as you're wearing it and tell where you need some fit adjustments by the wrinkles or the pull lines or the drag lines in the fabric. So that's very helpful. Um, let me go back to the beginning because I want to show you some of this fun stuff here. So they apparently have been designing sewing patterns for the big four since maybe 1970s. And here's kind of a little visual map on this page of some of their, the Palmer Pletch patterns that were made for the big four. So that's kind of neat. And then there's a second page of those as well, going all the way up to 2017. And let's see. They talk about in Chapter 2, a history of pattern sizing. Which is kind of good background knowledge to have. I mean, it, it it's not necessarily like critical to have that, but it is kind of interesting just to know how we got to where we are today with sewing patterns and sizes. You know, there's several pages, and then they talk about ready-to-wear sizes and ready-to-wear today, a little bit of history, and then how things kind of stand today. And a little bit of historical fashion silhouettes. Kind of... Fun little touch there. They talk about ease, like how much uh, minimum ease and design ease uh, in each garment. And then here, um, I want to show this picture to you guys up close because when they talk about starting with the right size pattern can make all the difference. So if you choose your pattern sizing, say based on your full bust measurement, uh, it could totally um, like wreck the garment or make it not as good as it could be. And if you look at this picture down here, this illustration, that kind of illustrates it. So the first, the woman on the left is wearing a size 18, which, sorry about that, which she had chosen that size based on her full bust. When if she had chosen based on her high bust and then made like full bust adjustment, her garment, her same jacket, this next picture is in a size 10, and look how much better fitting that is. By choosing her full bust measurement, the jacket is swallowing her whole. I mean, it's so big. And here it's more fitted, it looks more stylish, and just cuter in general, more tailored. So that was pretty neat and important. And of course, they talk about you know how to take proper measurements. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I've had this book kind of in my Amazon wish list for a long time. And I've been hesitant just because it's not the most inexpensive. But now that I've seen it, thanks to my library, it's worth it. I feel like it is definitely worth it. Especially like if you could find um, a very good condition used copy, that's probably what I'll do. Oftentimes I'll do that. I love having brand new books, but I also like to get a good deal. So oftentimes on Amazon, I'll choose uh, used, but then select very good condition or like new and get a great deal. So that's an option too. But 
I hope you guys found this helpful. Do any of you already have this book? And do you refer to it often? As we are all kind of always, us beginner and intermediate sewists are always looking for ways to improve the fit of our garments. How many of you actually use this book to help with your fitting process? I would love to know. Let us know in the comments. And I hope that you have a great weekend. And I will be back next week with an update on my current project that I have in process. So I hope you'll tune back in then. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I so appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.